I'm going to talk about setting up MuseScore um, in a score format and how to choose your instruments as well as basic note entry. So when you open up MuseScore, this is something that you should get. You should have the option to create a new score. So I'm going to click that. It'll ask you for a title, composer, whatever. We're just going to leave this blank for right now. Next, choose instruments. So your typical band. Of course, you want things in score order, so we're just going to go down the line. Woodwinds. I'm going to choose flutes. Um, in one of the bands that I have, uh, we have flutes, clarinets, bass clarinet, alto sax, and tenor sax. Now let's say I added something that I didn't want, that don't need in here. You just come over to the side, click it, and remove. If I needed to move something around, uh, if I needed something up higher or lower, click it, use the arrows to push it around. Otherwise, I'm going to push it back down to where it was. Okay, that's all the woodwinds I have. I'm going to move on to, I don't have any free reeds, don't need those, brass. Um, I'm going to put my trumpet in, B-flat trumpet, of course. I'm not sure why horn and F is up higher. Um, I know some scores, usually it's above trumpets. Uh, most scores I've seen, though, it's below the trumpets. I don't know if that's just an old-fashioned thing. But but I don't even need horns, so I'm going to leave that out. Trombone and tonium and tuba. Percussion, I'm going to add in uh, just a drum set for right now. So I've got all the instruments that I need. They're in the right place. And click Next. Key signature. Of course, this is a concert pitch. So if you're a transposing instrument, you're trying to figure out your key signature, you have to go by the concert pitch. So we're going to pick B flat here. Make sure that our time signature is what we want it to be. If we need any pickup measures, you can set it here. Um, I always put 100 measures in because I like to have a lot of room to work. You can always delete them later. I'm going to finish, and I've got all of my instruments here. don't have a title because I didn't put one in. Um, so that's how you set it up. If you figure out that you missed some instruments that you needed after the setup, all you have to do is push the I button on your keyboard, and it'll bring up your instruments again. So you can move those around if needed, or delete them if you need to. Um, if you decide to add something in, let's say I delete my trumpet by accident, I go back into brass, select B-flat trumpet, add it, it adds it at the end of your line, end of your score, so I'm going to bump it up to right before trombone, where it needs to be. Click OK, and we're good. Notice it has transposed all the key signatures for you, which is nice, you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you wanted to view concert pitch, you could always come up here and click the concert pitch button. Uh, but I don't ever use that. Note entry. Before we do anything, entering notes wise, um, you have to go over here and click on the note input button. It's an N that looks like it has a note on it. So we're going to click that. Notice it kind of brings up a cursor. Now when I hover over the music, I have that note head hovering with me. So right now the quarter note is selected. Um, you can select half notes, whole notes, you know, anything you might want. Um, if you need a dotted note, you select the note that you want as well as the dot. Click, and it gives you a dotted half note. Um, sometimes it can be kind of tricky trying to get your mouse exactly where you want it. So I like to use the zoom in and zoom out function. You can do that here. Um, but you can also use control and then your mouse wheel. If you push down control and scroll on your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out and it tells you what you're doing here. So I like to get in a little closer. We are going to, uh, I want to delete this note. So I could just do control Z. That'll get rid of it. I also, uh, you can also select it and cut it. I do that fairly often. So a note is, if the note is highlighted blue, that means it's selected. You can do control X and that will, usually that'll get rid of it. Sometimes it doesn't. So there we go. So let's enter some notes. Um, I'm going to click where I want to start entering. We're going to click note input. Um, to get it started, I'll click the first one in. Let's say I'm writing out my B flat scale for flute. Um, I can continue to click the notes in, 
like so. Or I can type them in using the letters of the note names on the keyboard. So my next note would be F. If I type F, now I'm going to type D. Now I'm going to type A. And then B. You can also type R. R will get you the same thing that you just typed. Um, and you can also use the note name, the letters themselves to type in those notes. So select whatever duration you need. And then you can type those in as well as click them in.